Hey guys. Hello. Hi. How okay. are you? I made it. Uh, good, thank you. Uh, sorry guys, I had some big problems getting into the hangout just now. Um, yeah, it's giving me some kind of error message, so sorry I'm late guys. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, there's some technical issues still with the Hangout. Um, all right. Well, great. I'm glad you all are here. Um, so, hello, Alejandro, Cristobal, and hello. Leo. Hello. Hey, hey. All right. Hello, Jose. No, Jose. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, how's everyone's day or night? Anything interesting you'd like to share with the class? Okay. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, by the no. time I'm having a feedback, teacher, uh -huh. can you hear it? Yes, I can hear you. Can you can you hear me? Okay. Um, uh, I hear everything repeated. <laughs> oh no! An uh, echo, like an echo. Hmm. Hello. Okay. Oh, it must be How me. How about now? Is it gone? No. <laughs> no. Uh, I have to to go to enter again. Sorry. Okay. No problem. All right. Um, how about everyone else? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Good. Good. Hey, Alibaba. <laughs> Alibaba. Al Ali, I muted. Okay, and hello, Italo and Cristobal. Um, hi, Mr. Juan. Hi, okay. Italo, you there? No. Guys, if you... Um, let me share my screen with you. Okay, if you click here, this is the mute microphone button. So if I mute it, I, I will. You can't hear me. Maybe your microphone is muted, so you have to click here to speak. Okay. Um, all right. Well, this is um, reading and writing class using transitions so um, what I want to do is teach all of you uh, transition words um, in English these words are used to connect your topic to um, something else that you would like to talk about so um, what I want to do for this class is um, show you different types of transitions and then um, we will read a newspaper article where I would like um, you to identify transition words and then um, if we still have any time left then maybe we can do some writing um, using a few transitions okay all right um, so before we start, I'd like everyone to give an introduction 
to the class. Let's start with Alejandro, Ali, Cristobal, Italo's gone, Jose, and Leo. Okay. Can you introduce yourself, Alejandro? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm. My name is Alejandro. I'm from Peru. I'm a student. Well, uh, this mm -hmm. is my my third time in your class. Mm -hmm. I hope improving my English in this website. It's really nice. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Alejandro. And next, uh, Cristobal. Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Cristobal, I'm from Ecuador, um, I'm 27 years old, I'm here to, to improve my English, it's nice to meet you. Okay, thanks Cristobal. Thank and you. And Italo is gone. Hey, Jose. Who first? Okay, Jose. Okay, um, my name is Jose Medesma. I mm -hmm. Go ahead. Jose, what happened? Okay. Maybe Jose will come back. Uh, let's go to Leo. Hello, everybody. I'm Leo from Argentina. Leonel is my name, actually. And um, well, I'm studying filmmaking. This is my second time in Colingo. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, well, everybody's a little quiet and shy today. What's what's wrong? You've been taking too many Colingo classes, or what? <laughs> No, no, no. I'm waiting for my turn to speak. Okay, okay. Uh, we've got some shy students today. Uh, Jose, you still there? Hello. Okay, one more time, Jose. Can you, uh -huh. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Well, uh, my name is Jose. I am from Venezuela. I am 18 years old, and this is my first time in this class. Okay. Uh, nice to see you, everybody. Okay, thanks, Jose. Welcome. All right. Thank you. And uh, Ali, Alibaba, are you there? Ali. Ali, Ali. <laughs> no, Ali. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, well, um, I'm sorry, teacher, but. Um, in Latin America, uh -huh. um, r right now it's like nine. Uh, I I think oh. we have some <laughs> we have some sleep. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. What what I, time I, is it? There? A little bit. A little a little bit. I'm tired. I, it's it's my nine. It's um two uh twelve seventeen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's it's late, so uh, some of you may be sleepy. Sleepy now. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I understand. All right. Uh, well. Uh, In your city, what time is it? It's uh, one one fourteen p.m. P.m. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, one one fourteen p.m. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Um, and even so, you've got your lights on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got the uh, Christmas lights on. I, you know, I'm trying to get into the uh, Chris Christmas spirit. Yes. 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 Okay. Um, well, guys, this is uh, reading and writing using uh, transitions. So um, first, I'm going to explain to everyone what is a transition, and um, then we'll continue on from there. So uh, let me pull up my 
explanation. Okay. Okay, can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll make it a little bigger. Yes. Yep. Okay, transitional words and phrases. Okay, hi, Hiromi. Uh, hi, hello. How do hi. you do? Good, good. You're just in time. Um, yes. We're um, talking about transitions. Yes. Okay, so um, right now I'm about to explain what are transitions to the class. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, where, where are you from, uh, Hiromi? Yes, I'm from Japan. From Japan, okay. Yeah. Great. Well, uh, this is well welcome. Second class. Second class, okay. Yes. Fantastic. Well, welcome. Thank okay. you very much. All right. Um, let's see. So we are talking about transitional words and phrases. So if you look here, transitional words and phrases can create powerful links between ideas in your paper and help your reader understand the logic of your paper. So the, the key words here are powerful links. So key, uh, transitional words and phrases are powerful links. Okay. However, these words all have different meanings, nuances, and connotations. So um, they all have different meanings, different um, ways to be expressed. And uh, when you hear these um, words or phrases, the connotation can be different. Okay. Um, before using a transitional word in your paper, if you're writing in English, be sure to understand its meaning and usage completely and be sure that it's the right match for the logic in your paper. So there's many different kinds of transitional words and phrases. You have uh, addition, comparison, effects, intensification, summary, pronouns, and many, many more. Okay, so um, let, let's just look at a few of them. I won't go through all of them because there's so many. Um, <clears throat> but I think addition is a good, um, is a good tra transitional word category to start with because you usually see these in your writing. Okay, um, example, furthermore, also, in addition, further, besides, second, secondly, moreover, in the second place, even more, last, lastly, and, or, nor, to, again, next, finally, first. Okay? So, uh, if you were to hear an example of how to use this transitional word in writing, um, I can give you a quick example. Um, I like to eat ice cream. Furthermore, I like to put chocolate and peanuts on my ice cream. Okay, so transitional word here, furthermore, all right? I like to eat ice cream. Furthermore, so I want to talk more about ice cream. I like to put chocolate and peanuts on my ice cream. Okay. Um, All right, I'm getting a lot of background noise. Um, okay, Jose, can you please mute your microphone? Okay.
Uh, teacher, can you can you help me with in this question? Uh, furthermore, it's what's the difference between furthermore and plus or also? Okay. Um, furthermore, you said furthermore. What was the second one? Um, plus also. Last and also. Okay. Um, it depends on what you're talking about. Um, okay, I like to eat ice cream also, comma, I like to put chocolate and peanuts on my ice cream. So furthermore and also have similar meanings. In addition, mm -hmm. further, the, the first four words here all have similar meaning. Mm -hmm. um, it, you're contributing to a topic that you're already talking about. So, mm -hmm. um, it, okay, that that's uh, furthermore and also, then you said last, okay. If uh, you're using last as a transition word, you would do what's called uh, paraphrasing, which is um, you, you um, are giving reasons using first, second, third, last, or first, second, last. So here's an example of paraphrasing. Um, I like ice cream. Okay. Second, Uh, I like to eat ice cream with my friends. Third, I love to um, eat ice cream sandwiches. Okay, last, my whole family loves ice cream. Okay, so th that's how you can use last as a transitional word. Um, you would use last in the final sentence. So if you're paraphrasing using first, second, or third, actually I didn't use second. I, well, I didn't use first. It should be, I like ice cream. First, I like ice cream because I can eat ice cream with my friends. Second, I love to eat ice cream sandwiches. Last, my whole family loves ice cream. Okay. Um, is that confusing to anyone? No, no, no. No? Okay. All right. Who, so far. Who, can, who can create a sentence using addition transition words? Okay. Or who, who can create uh, two or three sentences? Well, I any, I any volunteer? Hello? Uh-huh. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, this is Elmer. Oh, hi, Elmer. Hi, Juan. Okay. Hey, Elmer. Do you, do you want to give it a try? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay, great. Go ahead. Um, I like to study with my friends mm -hmm. at Colingo and also I am very close to a lot of teachers in there. Okay. All right, so you um, connected the sentence using and also. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, anyone else? <laughs> okay. Uh, can I give uh -huh. another example? Okay. Um, okay, Elmer, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my main language is Portuguese, but I like English ever, even more. Okay. My main language is Portuguese, but I like English even more. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in this case, um, even you used even more but it's not used as a transitional word in in that in your example why because 
the transition should occur at the beginning of the sentence. So you would say, I like Colingo. I like Colingo. I can't type today. Even more, Colingo is the best. Uh, blah 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 blah. Something like this. Website. Sorry, I put ever more. Even more. Okay, so the transition would go at the beginning of your sentence, not at not at the end. Okay. All right. Uh, anyone else? May I? Okay. Go ahead. Well, uh, I'm studying English uh, for fun. Mm -hmm. What's more, someday it could be useful uh, for living abroad. Okay. You you said once more. Oh no! What's more? Okay. What's it's more? It's not there, but. <laughs> 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 Anyways. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. All right. I'll I'll Make accept sample. it. I'll like, I'll accept <laughs> it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's continue. Let's go to time. Okay. So you've got lots of uh, transition words related to time. Okay. Um, I went to the restaurant. While I was there, I saw my best friend having dinner. Okay, so you have so you have uh, several transition words for time, while, after, when, meanwhile, during, next, then, so far, immediately, later, earlier, soon, sometimes, afterwards. Following at length, this time, never, always, whenever, in the meantime, now, until now, once, simultaneously, subsequently. So these two are uh, a little maybe difficult to pronounce, but um, these are related to time, okay? Um, I'll give you an example here. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, I'll use uh, follow. Or, sorry, I use meanwhile. Okay. So uh, I'll type it in the chat. Um, I went to see a football game. with my friends. Meanwhile, my brother stayed home and watched the game on TV. Okay, so the time transition here. I went to see a football game with my friends. Meanwhile, at the same time, my brother stayed home and watched the game on TV. Okay. All right. Um, we've got some new people in the class. Uh, hey, Anil and uh, Stefan. Okay. You guys, we're talking about uh, transition words. So um, I'm just giving some examples of transition words. There's lots. <clears throat> and lots of, excuse me, there's lots and lots of transition words, um, but I, I'm going to cover just a few for this class. I think it will take more than an hour to cover all of these. So uh, I think we're just going to stick with addition, time, and place. Okay? So I just uh, talked about addition transition words. We're talking about time now, and uh, we'll talk about place in a few minutes. Can anyone make a 
phrase or phrases using a time transition word. Can anyone try this? Me. Okay. Uh, Hiromi, okay? Yes, okay, I'll try. Uh, I walked my dog to the park after I finished to prepare dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, after, all right? I, after. I walked, I walked, I my, walked dog my dog to the, to park, the park after, after I finished to prepare dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to say after I finished preparing. I finished, uh, pre uh, pre uh, finished preparing. Uh huh. After I finished preparing dinner. Dinner. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, Crystal. My. Can I type this? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, can I say um, I want to I want to I want to play soccer with my friends. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. my 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 uncle uh, stay uh, supplant and uh, uh, on the site, and mm -hmm. he watch he watch watch us play. Mm -hmm. Okay. He, he watched us play, all right? Okay, good. Anyone else? Yes, uh, okay. Okay. Who's, uh, uh, Stefan? Yeah, I want to use the same word, meanwhile. Okay. I'm a Kenyan, but meanwhile, I'm living in Dominica. Okay, uh, I'm from Kenya, but meanwhile, I am living in... You said Dominica? Dominica. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. And anyone else? No, I want to give a try too. Okay. Go ahead. I got a lot of friends that lives in the United States. So far, mm -hmm. I'm here in Brazil and I miss them pretty much. Okay. All right. So far, um, I, I miss them very much. All right. Good. Okay. Good. Good job, guys. Um, all right. Last one I'm going to talk, last transition words I'm going to talk about is related to place. Here, beyond, adjacent to, there, wherever, neighboring on, nearby, opposite to, above, below. Okay. Um, example, I visited the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Adjacent to this wonderful place is the Seine River. So transition word here, adjacent to. Okay, and so we're talking about a place. Um, Excuse me, teacher. Uh huh. Uh, adjacent to may be used as close to. Right, uh, next to or directly next to. My neighbor's house is adjacent to my house. Mm -hmm. Or uh, maybe, uh, let's see, uh, Sao, Sao Paulo, Brazil is adjacent to Rio de Janeiro, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yes? Okay. Very nice. All right. Uh, can anyone try us? Uh, Expression using place transition words. Can I use nearby? Okay, nearby. Yeah. Okay. My grandmother lives nearby 
this school. Okay. My grandmother lives nearby the school. Good. All right. Anyone? Um, can I try it? Okay. Okay. Well, in in my house, uh, mm -hmm. there are some, there are a few gas stations near here. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Um. So good. That those are transition words for place. So remember, place, time. Addition. All right. And now I'd like to go to a uh, this article I found in um, some Hollywood newspaper online. All right. It's about uh, a movie that uh, won several honors called Zero Dark Thirty. Um, so I would like us to read, or I'd like some volunteers to read this article together, and then I want you to try and identify any transitional words in this article. Okay. All right. Um, so I'll try to zoom it in a little bit. Um, if you cannot see it, then here is. Um, it's better. I think. Okay. All right. Um. So who would like to read the first paragraph? Any volunteer? Uh, I yep. try, Professor. Okay, uh, Cristobal. Okay. Uh, right. The New York, the New York Films Critics Circle has named Catherine Bigelow's Zero Zero Dark Thirty. Its film on the year in voting going right now in the in New York. The group also named Zeros. Catherine Bigelow uh -huh. is best director for the Hunt for Being leading world drama. In 2009, uh -huh. the New York Film uh, Critics Circle went with Bigelow's The Hard Locker as best film and Bigelow as best director the same eventual results as the Oscars. The film's directors of photography, Greg Fraser, also won in today's. Voting by New York area film critics, awards will be handed out January 7. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. Um, how about the next paragraph? Anyone? Uh, <laughs> Can I? Okay, sis uh, Leo? Go. Uh -huh. All right. Leo? Yes. Okay. okay. Hello? Hello? Okay. It's the latest twist for Zero Dark Thirty, which has come under criticism for various groups that Bichlow and screenwriter Mark Bogue. Both, sorry, were given access to classified documents by the Obama administration while making the film, which chronicles the manhunt that led to the eventual killing of Osama bin Laden in Navy Sea Ray. And Bowl went on nightlight last week to deny they received classified info. I certainly did not did a lot of homework, but I never asked for classified materials. To my knowledge, I never received any. Bowl told Martha Bradas. Okay. All right. Uh, next, any volunteer? Okay. The Sunny Pick. Um, okay. Spelling. 
Jessica Ch uh, Chastain, Chastain, Chris Park, and Joel Egbon will be released in US Records December 19. Okay. Uh, continue. <laughs> okay. Other winners today, including Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Lynn Collins, which, uh, which uh, saw a best actor win for Daniel Day Lewis, supporting actress for uh, Sally Field, and best uh, scriptly for Tony Kushia. Southern Wise, who the best uh, actress. Not for the deep blue sea. Uh, Michael Hake. Okay, Michael Hake. 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 Continued its fall. Hot Street with a stick with a base uh, falling language. Feeling. Uh, we and and Tim Broughton's Berkeley winning was named best anima tide film. Animated film. Okay. Yeah. All right. Last film. last paragraph. Uh, anyone? Any volunteer? Okay. Alejandro. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> The NYFCC, the Critics Group, which is announcing winners today via its Twitter feed, last year moved out uh, ahead of the awards pack by dwelling at honors November 28. A controversial move because it's the rush to come before rivals the National Board of Review and the uh, L A film critics. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't able to see extremely loud and incredible clothes, which in that up with a best picture Oscar nomination. Now they move back a, a week to today with the national board's winners due Wednesday and L A critics pudding. Sunday, here's the here's the N W F C C winners as they are announced. Best film Zero Dark Thirty. Okay, you you don't have to read those, <laughs> uh, but if anyone's interested, those are the uh, best films for the uh, New York. Films Critics Circle. So the season awards got started. <laughs> right. Um, usually there's the New York Film Critics Circle, then there's the um, national national board winners, and I think this determines who LA Films Critics and National National Board of Review, and then this determines who will uh, win the Oscar. Um, awards, which is the highest award for uh, best films. Um, yeah, so uh, I thought this was interesting. I like watching movies, and maybe you'll, you guys like to watch movies a lot. Um, but um, thank, thank you guys for reading this. Um, now, let's go back to our list. So, take a look at the addition words again, time, and place, okay, and now I want you to try and help me identify um, what uh, transition words you see in the first paragraph. Can anyone um, find it? any? Also. Okay, also, okay, the group also named Zero's Catherine Bigelow. Okay, good. 
All right. Any any other? Um, sort of timely. Say again. I I don't see any more other than uh. Also. Yeah. Also. also. Yeah. Also. Okay. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the second one. How about the second paragraph? I can f I can find one in the first sentence. Mm -hmm. Latest. Okay, latest. Let's check. Latest. Late. Time. I guess. Time. Uh, we've got later. Oh. Oh, uh, no latest, yeah. Yeah, no latest. Okay. No latest. Um, <laughs> how about uh, which? Huh? Is which? Yeah, it's also a connecting one. We don't have which here. We have Why? while, when. Okay. Uh, while. There is a while. while. While, okay. Yes, okay. Uh, while. While making the film. Okay. All right. Any other? Never. There is never. Never. Okay, good job. All right. But I never asked for classified materials. And I never received any. Okay, good. All right. Um, the next two paragraphs. Can you identify transition words? Maybe so. So? So. So, where, where do you see so? Uh, oh, which saw? Oh, first line. Yes. Which saw? Okay, okay. Um, other winners today included Lincoln. Which saw? Okay, let's check. Which saw? No. 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 Okay. Okay, no transition words here. All right, last paragraph. I see one that's Last. related. Before? Before. Before. It's before? Huh? How, how about, uh, where, where do you Last. see before? In the third line. Okay. To come before, before arrivals. Okay, let's check before. Time? I think on time we also have last. No. No. It's okay. not there. <laughs> no. <laughs> how, how about I'm I'm thinking how about, about now. No. Now? Because yeah. now, now is related to time. But n yeah, okay. Yes. Now. Okay. Now they've moved back a week to today. So this is related to time. And uh, what about lastly or last? Okay, where do you see lastly? Uh, the second line. Mm -hmm. Last okay. year. Last, last year. year. Okay, great, great. Okay. And yeah. here in the. Sorry. Right here. Place, yeah. yes. Here's. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. 
All right, guys. Well, um, yeah, I think that's it for transition words in this article. Um, there weren't as many as I thought there would be. Um, but just to give you an idea of transition words and how it helps to um, create writing and um, reading topics, it helps the flow of the topic. So it's very important to use uh, transition words. Um, now, I'd like all of you to write maybe two or three sentences using transitional words in the, in the chat box. You can tell any kind of story you want. You can use uh, time, addition, or place. And then let's see if you can write this correctly. Okay? So I'll just give you maybe two minutes, three minutes. We don't have a lot of time left in class. So can you write a quick story like the one I wrote about this, my uh, friends going to the soccer game? Um, can you write a, a quick um, expression using transitional words? Okay. Oh, Cristobal, it's Laden. Like Bin Laden? Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Anil, I'm going to give you some corrections. Okay. Okay. So you want to say, uh, I went through it. Meanwhile, yes. good transition. Meanwhile, my girlfriend watched TV at home. As I okay. came home or as I arrived home, she turned okay. it off or she turned it off quickly. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Jose, Jose, here I am with my brother. You should put a period after brother. So here I am with my brother, period. Meanwhile, my sister is preparing lunch. Furthermore, we are really having fun. Okay, great. Okay, good, Jose. Alejandro, I'm writing my Kalingos. <laughs> I'm writing my Kalingo work, not Kalingo work, uh, not Kalingos, but Kalingo work. Meanwhile, my brother is traveling to Mexico. I hoped. Uh, <laughs> I hope to end soon. The work is just killing me. Okay, uh, Gatis, I'm watching TV. Meanwhile, my mother cooks, or my mother is cooking. Okay, so meanwhile, my mother cooks, or 
My mother is cooking. Okay. Oh, Tui! <laughs> After I knew that my friend had an accident with his bike, I never met him again. Words failed me. <laughs> okay. Great. Leo, once I had an accident with my car, it happened while I was commuting in the middle of a traffic jam. Nearby, there was there was another accident too. Okay. How about you, uh, Hiromi? <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't read for Stefan. Where's Stefan? Thank you. Okay, Stefan. While I was in Kenya, I was living next to my school and Remove, remove ads. Um, no, no, no. You can say while I was in Kenya, I was living next to my school, and I was, and I was living in the school. Okay. <laughs> Sakiba. Um, I um, was explaining transitional words. It's a little late because it's almost the end of the class. Um, so I'm having the students create uh, phrases using transitional words. Um, yeah, so um, that's why you can't understand it. All right, anyone else? No other volunteers. Okay. Can we um, say um, after? Uh huh. Go ahead, Cristobal. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, can we say after my surgery, I feel much better with my foot? After my surgery, I felt I felt much better. I felt much better. Okay, thank you. I felt much better. As soon as it rains, we run for shelter. Okay. Great, Anil. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um. Well, that's all I'm going to cover for transitional words. Um, this topic is not the most uh, interesting, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm I'm glad you guys uh, you know gave some participation and and you know tried. Um, you know, the, I I prefer like a conversational class, not so much reading and writing. But you know, I have to do what what the uh, class theme is about so today it was transitional words um, you know hopefully next class you join with me it won't be such a, a boring or difficult topic <laughs> okay so uh, if this is your first time in my class I don't want you to think that uh, I always do these types of uh, <laughs> topics in class <laughs> Okay, but but every everyone did a good job, so uh, you know thanks thanks for trying, and um, you know it's it's important to use transitional words in in speaking and writing in order to uh, speak effectively, especially if you're telling a story, you know, um, and even the students watching um, that can't couldn't join the hangout. Thanks, thanks too for joining. Okay, and okay. Uh, hopefully the uh, hangout will work a little better for your next classes. Um, I'll be back in about four hours if you want to join me then. If not, um, I'll see you all later. Okay, have a good night, good day. Thank, Thank you very much. See Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. See you again. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.